Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Modded Minecraft 1.12 playing here on the One Man One Mod Season 1 pack. And it looks like Dadcraft is coming to the end of even Season 3 and we haven't kept up. But hey, I'm really enjoying immersive engineering. I'm enjoying this deep dive into this mod and I'm going to keep going. We've still got a few more things to do and we are going to be getting to one of those today. We've got to start the long grind to get that excavator going. And that means we need a new energy delivery system. And we also need a way to, uh, to, to generate that. So there's a lot of machines in that whole process. We need to start on that path today. Let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we want the excavator. Well, I do. I don't know if you do, but I want to get the excavator going because we've got uh, something I'm going to show you in just a little bit. But uh, first things first, we've got a little bit of a change right here. You notice that I don't have my tree farm here anymore. And if we were to go over here, we find, um, well, it, it, there's a steep drop off. Yeah. So uh, I've changed that up. We're going to move the tree farm to the very lowest layer here after I show you a couple other things. So I've got another platform right here. I don't know if I had dug the entire thing out. Maybe I had. Did I just see something over there? No, just something from the torch animation there. And let's go down one further. I can't remember if I have shown you the results from all of this, but each of these storage crates represents one of or me running the core sample drill uh, in this chunk. So if we take a look here, F3 and G, you notice storage crate in each chunk. So no more, no more storage crates than, uh, than well, I mean, there's, there's some, obviously, we've got some other storage right there, uh, but the main one that I'm most concerned about after getting rid of the chunk borders is to come over this way. So uh, let's see, is it this one? Yes, it is. Are you ready? Copper vein. This is the one that I am going to go for. So we are going to have to dig a little bit down in here and get the excavator going. But uh, before we do that, see, we've got a little bit of the materials going, but it's not hardly enough. Uh, and even to get to that point, we're going to need uh, a new way of, of generation for RF or IF rather. Let's take a look at what this thing is going to require. We'll go to generators here. We go to diesel generator and what well, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go back to heavy machinery. And then we look at the excavator. This thing requires 4,096 flux per tick in order to operate. That's a lot. And right now we've got couple of water mills, each producing 88 RF or IF a tick, and then what, seven windmills. Yeah, we're not, we're not anywhere close. And even to get to that point, we would need tons of water mills, tons of, of the thermoelectric generators, um, tons of windmills. Uh, it just, it doesn't make sense. And we'd have all of that stuff ticking, uh, ticking our, our internal server here when we could just go with a diesel generator. So, 4,096 R of a tick or flux per tick. Uh, the only way to do that is with the diesel generator. Of course, we could go into lightning rods, which I might get to eventually. But let's take a look at the diesel generator. This thing can generate up to 4,096 R of a tick or flux per tick, I, sh I should say. So we are going to set up this diesel generator specifically for the excavator. And to get to that, we're going to have to generate biodiesel. Okay. So that means we need a refinery. And the refinery takes ethanol and plant oil and turns it into biodiesel. Well, how do you get plant oil and ethanol? Well, plant oil comes from the squeezer. And uh, what, what do you put into there? Let's take a look at that. Items can be input to the squeezer via the two hatches at the back. And does it tell you what? Yes. Okay. So you can take any of these items right here in this list, uh, melon seeds all the way up to industrial hemp seeds. And notice that there's a different level or different amount of plant oil for each one. Okay. And since industrial hemp seeds produce or provide the most, we're going to go with that. 
So we're going to take industrial hemp seeds, run those into the squeezer, and we'll get 120 millibuckets per seed item. And that should give us plenty of plant oil. And then let's go back one further, biodiesel, refinery, and then ethanol. It's pretty much the same. Uh, yeah, fermenter. What does that take? That's got cauldrons right there and then sheet metal, right? We got our got our recipe list here, okay? And then plant oil, the squeezer, takes wooden barrels and pistons. Yeah, wooden barrels and, okay. But before we even get to that, like I said, this is a long drawn out process. Before we even get to that, we need a way of delivering those items in a consistent manner. And you might remember we did those garden cloches some time back. And we've got those up here. That's what that extra layer is for down below that one. The layer below that, which you might be able to see. Yeah, we're going to have some bulk storage. So let's take a look into our, our thing here. Uh, go back and construction. Yes, silo. Okay, so this is the machine or rather the storage item we're going to be taking or taking a look at today. We're going to build some silos for a few of the items that we find we need bulk storage for. And two of which are, well, there's the industrial hemp seeds, but we also need to store the fiber if we're going to be pulling the seeds out. And then I'm going to be using potatoes for ethanol. Does it matter which one? I don't think it does. Let's go. No, no, no. Power generation, right? Let's go here. Diesel generator. Biodiesel. Ethanol. I don't think it matters. No, no, it doesn't. Potatoes. 80 millibuckets. I could have used pretty much any of the others. Well, maybe not apple. We don't have a, a good tree farm for that. So sugar cane and melon and potatoes. So uh, the melons, I'm not sure if it's like melon parts or the actual melon block. But... Anyway, we're going to do potatoes, so we need bulk storage for this. So we may end up having to have multiple garden cloches to provide what is necessary for all of that. But uh, let's stop jibber jabbering and actually get on with this build. And I'm going to show you this other book and quill here. This uh, is a list of all the things that I want bulk storage for. So we got hemp seeds, hemp fiber, potatoes, stone, because I've been gathering a lot of it from various mining things. And then I also told you with that mob farm we did, we need some storage for that. And this is time to take that into account. So we're gonna get arrows, bones, gunpowder, and zombie flesh. Everything else is just gonna go into just random storage. I think we'll be able to, to handle that. So we don't really produce all the rest of it. Again, it is a very slow mob farm. So we're not gonna run out of, uh, we shouldn't run out of, of uh, what's the word? of storage for that. So anyway, let's get into our, our our project here for the day. And we want to go to uh, the overview. No, no, no. Construction. Yes. Silo. And we take a look at our required materials. We need four treated wood fence and 50 iron sheet metal per silo. So uh, let's get out the post-it notes real quick. We need seven of these. And so you can hear the post-it probably in the background. So we're going to need 28 treated wood fence. And then 50 times seven, that's 350 iron sheet metal treated wood fence. And I believe I've created wood sheet metal before with you. So let's just see iron sheet metal here. I don't think that's very difficult but to produce, but let's let's just take a look here. Uh, iron sheet metal. Okay, it requires four iron plates, gives me four iron sheet metal, and I don't think I have any sheet metal already in here. I've almost got all the treated wood fences, which is cool. And then... No. Okay. So 350 iron sheet metal. We can do four of those right here. And then let's just do some quick math over on the calculator. 34 
or 350 divided by 487.5. Well, no, we still need. Hmm. We need 88 times. So what was 88 times 4? 352. We're going to have to put that much iron into there. Hmm. That's a lot of iron. So what's this? Three, 352 divided by 64. That's five stacks, five and a half stacks. So I think we can do that. Let's get this guy going. Okay, we'll start that. And then we'll do what? One, two, three, four, five, and then half. Yep, and there it goes. Oh, 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 turn off, off, off. <sighs> Let's actually change out the the press that we're supposed to be using. Yes, okay. Great. How many rods do we get out of that? It's two per. Okay, and I just ruined four. Okay, so we'll put... Well, we don't need that, so that's fine. Because we've already got a set of these iron plates right here like so. Okay, so I got four right there. Let's do the treated wood fence. And can we do this one? We don't have the treated wood, but it's the same recipe as a fence, which is kind of cool. Do that. And, and I may not have done the math correctly on this. 26, almost, but not quite. There we go. So we've got 29 treated wood fence. And then how many do we have over here? Yes, one per. My goodness. It's going to be expensive. But hey, that's that's what we're doing this for. Oh, man. You know what? I'm going to go off camera for a little bit while this thing produces at least enough to do one tank and we can get that started. Um, you know, you know what? In the meantime, let's uh, let's take a look at something else. OK, there's uh, there's, there's uh, other stuff here for item item processing do we have anything like that showing up here yes item router all right so we are going to need to do some sorting and this item router helps us do sorting so we need what uh, treated wood planks four of those two iron ingots redstone and iron mechanical component and a conveyor belt my goodness can be expensive but that's fine that's what we're that's what we're here for right okay and we've got redstone right here and we may have we've got a conveyor belt so we don't have to make any more good and we got some iron here and treated wood planks we're going to need uh an item router for our um oh what's the word for the mob drops right and then we're going to need an item router for the plant stuff and then the stone is just going to go in We'll probably run that through the stone. So two, two of those. Do we have any iron mechanical components? Yes, we do. I don't have to make those. Excellent. So let's see if we got enough uh, right here. We can make four, but we don't need four. We just need two. And then uh, how does this go? So the item router is a block which will accept and redistrib redistribute items down filtered paths. Place it down and right click it to open the interface okay we've got we can play around with this some let's see what we got here a couple more and boom okay and then we'll see if we can actually make our our other our silo do we have enough yes we do excellent and i need a hammer because immersive engineering you gotta have a hammer Okay, so I'm going to come down to this level here, and I want to run the uh, one of those items into here. So uh, this right here, like this. Okay, and then we'll do the sheet metal right like this, and go just build this thing up. Um, maybe let's get rid of torches in our hand because that's going to get annoying okay and once we get down to 10 then we know we've gone high enough 
and I can't remember exactly how many of these layers there are. Let's take a look here. I hope I left enough room between this layer and the one, uh, one above. We shall see. Uh, no, not there. Construction silo. Let's pause. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So we got what? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll do that one. And then one more. And this is the cap, I do believe. Like so. And hit it with a hammer. Where do you have to hit it? Okay. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay. So items will go in the top. Let's let's just build up beside it real quick. Yeah, items have to go up here and then they are extracted from below. That's fine. Now, what I want to do is play around with these item routers a bit. So let's do say that and then we'll do that, that and that. Okay? We'll take an item router Place that down like so, and then we right click on it, and we've got colors all around. So blue, green, and you know what? Let's let's dig this up and put put that out of. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll see if we can put items directly in the top. I wonder if that's a thing. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, just maybe. Who knows? But you never know if you don't try, right? It's the whole point of learning this stuff. Um, and then we'll get our engineer's hammer out. There, um, probably not what I want right there. Let's try like that. Okay. And then we'll do uh, this guy again. Okay. Yep. And like that. So let's see what happens. Uh, say we'll put, um, we want... Oh, how's this go? Oh, I get it. We want iron ingots to go that way. And then, so iron ingots should come out that way. Uh, yellow, we will do leather. And then uh, green, no, blue, we'll do, say, treated wood planks. And then, what's this other one? Green. Green will say sticks all right so far so good let's see what this does okay it does not go in to to there uh let's see what the book has to say items must be input through the top and extracted oh no that's from the silo what we want to do is overview no Simple machines, item router. Accept and redistribute items. The item enters the router. It will be routed to an output. So maybe, oh, spooky noises. Maybe there's some other way of getting, getting items into there. And you know, we can come back up here and check uh, no, not that way. We should be able to get a whole lot more of those. Okay, good. And then we can set up some more silos while we're at it. We'll just take care of that fun process. Yep, like, like that. 
Okay, and then uh, there was what? How about... Mm, let's go for a hopper. Do I have the, the items for that? When you know it, I don't have the items for that here. That's funny. Hmm. That's a problem. It'd be nice if I had the items for that. What about this other conveyor belt? There is a some sort of a conveyor like this dropping conveyor. I I can do that. So let's make one of those and then we'll put a conveyor belt on top and then we've got a dropping conveyor belt. Let's see if that does it. And if that doesn't, I may have a hopper over here. Uh, yes, yes I do. Good, 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 good. Okay. And we'll go down one level to here. And let's see if the dropping conveyor belt works. And maybe we'll put a just a stopper so it doesn't keep flowing off. Okay. Now, we've got iron ingots. And it went out the red side. Excellent. So, this is how... We're going to be doing all of the fun stuff that we've got planned. And that should go out. Yeah, there we go. Yellow. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, and blue should be the... Uh, what is it? Treated wood planks. And green is the stick. Okay. Anything else that comes in should go through the bottom of the item router so we'll probably have to have something for that at least on the mob farm one but that is how the item router works and you see we've got a silo already uh we can probably build another one we need to leave a little bit of space in between each one but we don't have to have too much and let's just uh fill fill this all up like so okay that's the farm items right and sheet metal yep I'll just mark out the space here and then over here is going to be our mob farm items like this okay and like so lay out the foundation and then we can come back a little later and finish these guys up so a couple there and then boom boom need to have enough space maybe i won't put it there that's like right in the walkway and it kind of, it really doesn't matter. We're just going to have conveyor belts going all over the place. I think that's going to look cool. Well, it may not look cool, but it at least goes with the aesthetic that I'm trying to go for here. Uh, let's go back to here. How many of these did we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got the thing wrong to start with. So we're going to have to build another, another tank. And I don't have all the stuff I need with me, so... Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera. You've seen how to to do this. I think there's, what, one more thing we need to do, and that is set one of these guys up. So uh, what I want to do is grab, um, we'll grab the industrial hemp seeds and this, one of each of these items, okay? And then let's come back up here, see what else we can make from this stuff okay and we should be able to make another set of these fences good and the sheet metal uh it's not like that come on there we go and a little bit more yep there we go okay so we've got some sheet metal and we can always do more a little later all right then we'll come down to the storage area and we'll see how we can put items in here. We should be able to just right click in. Can it do that? No, maybe not. Uh, got a bunch of junk in my inventory. You know what we can do while we're at it is build up a couple of these things, right? Like, like that. We'll do that. Do two at a time, hopefully. Yep, there we go. 
Now, okay. And then this is going to be all our farm stuff. We'll have the stone over on a, another, uh, maybe, maybe over there. And then we'll get a convoluted system of moving the items around. You know, just what you might expect in a mod like Immersive Engineering. Okay, almost, almost. Let's do that one. Jump. And one more. And can we right click into here? No. Huh. And I don't know. Nope. It's got to go like directly in. So maybe let's try a hopper on top. Put that in. Okay. And now it shows that it's got an item in there. Okay. Grab that. And then we'll do another round of iron sheet metal over here. Okay. And then we've got hammer. No, you have to do it from there and there. Okay. And then we'll get back on top of each of these. And then just chuck a couple items in there. I want the hemp fiber to go into this one. So we'll do that. Okay. And then potatoes will go in here. I don't know if you're noticing a little bit of frame rate lag, but, uh, but I certainly am. I don't know what's going on there. But there we go. So we've got three of the silos going. That's not the end of the episode. I'm going to go off camera and do the rest of them and set up all of the conveyor belts, get these item routers going, lots of stuff off camera. And I'll bring you back once, once we get everything going. All right. So I'll see you in a little bit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are back and I've done some work. We've got, we got those conveyor belts that are going every which way. Let's take a look at the first batch up here by the garden closures we're having some some lag spikes here i'm not sure why i just had to restart my computer because it wasn't picking up my mic and game audio correctly so it's about time for a restart yeah so every so often this thing is going to produce some items and there we go we've got hoppers pointed into the conveyor belts and then that just drops off the edge there okay and we'll go down and take a look at the particulars in just a moment so I will tell you this, I did not realize how much time had passed in the last episode, so I am sorry for that, and that means we need to bring this to a close quickly. So I've got a little bit of, of uh, some items here to just stack jump with, like so, and we may be able to see those items drop down. Yep, there we go, and they go into the item router like I showed you before. And that spits them out every which way and anything extra. So here's something just for in, for your case. If you're doing this on a server or even in single player and you run this chunk loaded, um, these things, these tanks, silos will eventually fill up. And so you need some sort of overflow protection. And what I've got is when these things fill up, the it's not going to accept anymore. And then everything extra goes onto this other conveyor belt line right here and goes and drops into a cactus where it gets destroyed. We're nowhere close to filling that one up yet, but we may be close to filling up this one by the time we get all of these storage crates done right here. So let's grab that one and we will put this one right there and there we go. Okay, so I'm going to store all the stone. I'm going to do that off camera. You see, I've got 17 more wooden crates of stone to do. That's right. 17 wooden crates yes so it's filling up slowly but surely and then we've got this one over here it's a little bit more convoluted and yeah you saw the farm items one this is pretty much the same let's see if we can get to the item router however okay so there's the item router we've got what yellow green uh, blue and i believe red on the back so let's take a look here. Yeah, so red is the rotten flesh and then green. Okay, so you see how I've got that configured. Anything, the top I think is the is white and then down below is the 
black side and that anything extra should, based on my understanding, should come through here. So we're going to try that out here uh, forthwith and that's coming all the way from the mop farm. So, so yeah, what we're going to do is uh, just take a look here. We've had a decent amount of rotten flesh come in and not so much on the rest of the items, but let's come down here and we can see where this thing comes into. Okay. And let's just toss um, a piece of stone there. So we got one piece of stone and we'll let that do its thing. And I want to show you where this all connects. Okay. So you remember we did the mob farm quite some time ago and I had it hooked up. We had some convoluted system of getting over there. That's the backside of that conveyor belt, the vertical conveyor belt that uh, I just threw that stone onto. But here we go. We've got our our hoppers. Uh, so each one is now pointed to the center one. We're pulling items out of that and into this conveyor belt line that goes to a vertical conveyor belt right here. That's not quite hooking up the way I would assume it would, but let's, uh, that should be fine. Let's do that. It should pick up. Yep, it does. Okay. So we should see uh, uh, that I pick it up. Okay. Yeah, if you get too close, then you're going to pick up the items that are on those conveyor belts. We could go with something called a covered conveyor, right? And that stops you from picking up the items, but they're pretty expensive. Actually, let's take a look. It requires steel scaffolding. I'm not doing that. So, um, so yeah, we're just going to have to be careful about how close we get to this thing. So same as with the farm items, we do want to make sure that we've got overflow protection. Uh, and it could be that we're dealing, is that right here? Yeah. So overflow protection right there. That is for the bones and arrows. And then I believe I've got another one over here for the rotten flesh and gunpowder but we should see in that hopper there should see a single stone if that's the case yes okay then that means that what we can do is maybe put let's do that for now and then we'll take these storage crates right like so and go like this grab that piece of stone and then i've got some hoppers here and we'll point those into each one uh, successfully. Successively, rather. Like this. Boom. Boom. And this is just a, all the extra that does not get filtered out. So anything that comes from those mobs that it isn't in one of these silos, it's going to just come through this hopper and should go into this line here. Goes into... Did I take that first one out? Where did it go? Maybe I took it out already. Yeah, I bet I did. Okay. Eh, whatever. There we go. Okay. So that is our storage setup right there. And we can take the rest of that stone and just chuck it in there. Huh. I don't know what became of it. But anyway, that's our overflow for the other mob drop items. And we'll take care of getting all of this stone off camera. I'm going to do that off camera. And then I've still got some mob drops right here. Yeah, I need to throw those into the storage system as well. So uh, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We've got we've played with the silos. We played with item routers. And we played with conveyor belts. And uh, what the the dropping conveyor belt. So I would dare say we have done a decent job here. So let's turn around like this and say, I hope you enjoy it. I, I really do. And uh, let me know what you think about this storage system. If you did enjoy a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing. So you're up to date with everything else going on, on the channel. That's going to be it for now. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.